Good day! Our lesson for today is about colors and the color wheel. Your objectives are the following. Identify the definite meaning of colors, create a color wheel, and appreciate the beauty of colors. The color blue. It is one of the primary colors. It represents wisdom and serenity. It is also said that if you look at the blue sky, you will feel calm. It will help you concentrate on your study. The color yellow. Another primary color that is associated with happiness, joy, and sunshine. That's why a happy face is commonly connected with yellow. It makes you smile and happy. The color red. It is a primary color that represents love, anger, passion, and war. If you are angry, sometimes you turn red. If you mix yellow and blue together, you will make green. A secondary color that is associated with nature, relaxation, and fertility. That is why your blackboard is colored green, to so make your eyes relax, especially in long discussion. If you have blue and red mixed together, you will create violet. Violet is a secondary color that represents royalty and magic. That is why commonly during medieval times, kings and queens are wearing violet. If you use yellow and red, Together, you will create orange. Orange gives wellness and energy. That's why most promotion in vitamins use orange. And also, according to research, it stimulates hunger. Most restaurants are using orange for the customers to order more, eat more, and pay more. The color black. Black is associated with darkness. But also, it can also signify elegance. That's why most suits are color black that shows poised elegance in fashion. The color white. White symbolizes purity and godliness that is why if you're going to show a symbol related to holiness you will use the color white if you have red paint and a little bit of black paint add together you will create the color brown brown alone shows loneliness but if you're going to add a different color with it, it can make an object lively and add more details in it. That's why some advertisement use brown, like a teddy bear. A teddy bear alone shows loneliness. But if someone will bought it or buy it, it will not be lonely anymore. If you have a red paint and a white paint add together it will create the color pink the color pink shows femininity and mostly associated with girls now to construct a color wheel first create a perpendicular line then construct a circle after that, you will see the circle is divided into four. Divide the one of the sides into three groups. Then, you need to construct 12 pieces of 12 parts of the circle. Then, you will place the primary colors. Leave three space per color. Then the secondary color. 
At the center of the primary colors, we will see red and yellow create orange. Red and blue create violet. And blue and yellow construct green. After that, create the tertiary colors in between one secondary and one primary colors. For example, blue and green mixed together will create blue-green and so on. For your activity, instead of making a regular color wheel, you're going to use different objects, figures that will represent a different color. Do not forget to add some value in it from dark to light to make it more attractive. I will show you different artworks or plates that is created by my previous students that will serve as guide. Do not copy. It is only a guide and an example for you to have your own new idea. Value. Value is the darkness to a lightness of a color. The dark part is what you call shades, while the light part are called tints. These values uh, determine the forms and the visual effects of an object. Artists commonly use this to intensify and to give more realistic approach to a drawing. I will demonstrate to you on how to use value in painting using Acrycolor. First, you will use the base or main color that you want to use. I am using red because I want to paint an apple. Then I will use some white to tint. That is tints. I will blend it to my primary color or the color that I'm going to use, which is red. I will blend the white. Blend it properly so there will be some good mixtures of values. You will see from dark to light. Make sure that you're going to secure the white paint. Once the white paint uh, will have a different color, it will be unusable later. Then I'm going to use shades, black for the shades, to make them outline and more detail of my drawing. So careful using a brush, slowly but Surely, in the detail, in detailing the color, as you can see, it, it is turning into some brownish color because of the red color. And also, I have a premix lighter shade of black that will match my apple. So blend it. Securely determine which part are you going to use, the dark part or the shades. Then blend. You should always prepare water beside you and a clean cloth. So you can wash the brush and change colors if possible. So I'm changing from red to black, just dip. Dip it to your water and dry it using your piece of cloth. Especially when you're using white. Just like that. At my case, I use a different brush. Do not use the same brush in applying white, 
white. It will ruin your work. If it is possible, a different brush or clean your brush if you're going to use white again. For the blending and for the mixture of color. Now, for some details, you can add another red part, red paint, to make the color of your object more lively. And of course, add also white and black for the mixture or blending until you gain your desired value of your design. So as you can see, I've been blending and blending and blending until I obtained my desired design. For your reflection, how important are colors in our everyday lives?